There were a variety of large trucks and equipment used for mining. This is also called a front-end loader and is basically a tractor with a bucket on the front. It is used to dig materials, carry materials for short distances, and load materials into other equipment. Loaders can be small. They can also be as large as 40 feet tall and 60 feet long, with buckets big enough to hold a pickup truck. Haul trucks are used to transport materials around the mine site. These are large, off-road, heavy-duty dump trucks. Smaller haul trucks have a typical capacity of 25 to 30 tons. The largest trucks have a capacity of several hundred tons. This piece of equipment is also called a backhoe or a shovel, depending on the position of the bucket. The bucket is mounted on an arm that is designed to extend the operator's reach. If the bucket is mounted so the operator pulls the bucket toward the machine to fill it, it is called a backhoe. If the operator pushes the bucket away from the machine to fill it, it is called a shovel. This equipment is usually track mounted, rather than on wheels, and is able to swing completely around. Over-the-road trucks are usually used to take the finished product out of the mine. At some sites, they are also used to move materials around the mine. These trucks and trailers come in different shapes and sizes and are designed to run on the highways. The mining company can own them, but usually they are owned by customers or independent contractors. Dozers are usually mounted on tracks rather than wheels and are used to push material at the mine. Dozers vary in size and type depending on what they are used for but are basically a tractor with a push blade mounted in front. They are used to remove topsoil or overburden and to push materials around the mine site. A skid steer is one of the most versatile but also most hazardous vehicles on the mine site. It is a small loader that is steered like track mounted equipment. When it turns, one side of the wheels are stopped and the other side pivots around. The loader bucket can be removed and other implements or tools can be attached to the front of the skid steer. These vehicles are commonly used to clean up around the mine. This mine is one way counterclockwise. Traffic converges at only one place on the mine site. The traffic pattern is clearly marked and has proved to be a very safe plan for them. This traffic pattern is clearly marked left hand drive. This allows the driver of the haul truck to see the edge of the haul roads more easily minimizing the risk of the truck driving off the road. It also separates the operator's cabs in the event of a collision. Another mine has a right-hand drive plan throughout the mine. The traffic pattern in each mine should be well marked with signs and communicated to anyone traveling the mine roads. Berms are an important part of safe haulage roads. Berms are small hills built on elevated sections of roadway, dumps, and stockpiles. They are designed to help drivers see their location visually and feel the edge as their tires make contact with a berm. Berms must be built as high as the axle of the tallest mobile vehicle that travels that road. They should be built strong enough to withstand a moderate impact, but never relied upon to stop a truck. Trucks should be backed up slowly into dumping areas to ensure they can be stopped before making contact with a berm. Most vehicles at mine sites are very large. Many haul trucks are so large that the blind spot on the right side is 70 feet. It can be as much as 40 feet in front of the truck. This can cause problems for people or small vehicles walking or driving into the truck's blind spot. Self-propelled mobile equipment like haul trucks and loaders must have a service brake system capable of stopping and holding the equipment with its typical load on the maximum grade it travels. In other words, if a haul truck carries 40 tons down a steep grade, the braking system must be capable of stopping and holding the loaded truck on that grade. If the equipment has parking brakes, they should be capable of holding the equipment with its typical load on the maximum grade it travels. Before starting self-propelled mobile equipment, you must sound a warning that is audible above the surrounding noise level. Usually, this means honking the horn once to let people know the truck is going to move or use some other method to warn anyone who could be exposed to a hazard from the equipment. Backup warning devices that tell others a truck or piece of equipment is backing up must be operational. If the device is not working, it must be repaired immediately. 
When moving mobile equipment between workplaces, position booms, forks, buckets, beds, and other movable parts of the equipment in their travel mode. For example, a loader's bucket should be low when traveling. This gives the vehicle a low center of gravity and better stability. It also allows the operator an unobstructed view. When you travel with an empty bucket, don't tilt the bucket forward or too low. You might hit an unexpected object in the roadway. Never leave mobile equipment unattended unless the controls are placed in the park position and the parking brake, if there is one, is set. If the vehicle is parked on a grade, the wheels or tracks of the equipment needs to be either chalked by blocking the wheels or turned into the bank. Some mine sites may require blocking any time equipment is parked. When a vehicle is left unattended or is not in use, dippers, buckets, blades, rippers, and scraper blades should be lowered to the ground. Other movable parts, such as booms, need to be mechanically secured or positioned to prevent movement that could create a hazard. Don't ever swing dippers, buckets, loading booms, or suspended loads over the operator's stations of mobile equipment unless the equipment operator is in a safe location or the equipment is specifically designed to protect the equipment operator from falling objects. Mandatory standards are also in place for maintenance requirements on mobile equipment. Don't work on top of or under or from mobile equipment in a raised position until the equipment has been blocked or mechanically secured to prevent it from rolling or falling accidentally. In addition, secure any raised components of mobile equipment to prevent them from being accidentally lowered while being worked on. When following a haul truck on a haul road, stay 50 feet or more behind the truck. A good rule of thumb is to allow one truck length for every 10 miles an hour of speed, but no closer than 50 feet. Refer to your company's policy.